All right, I know that My Little Pony is not exactly the most frightening thing on earth, but pay less attention to the brand of the toy and more attention to what it's doing by itself without being touched. I guess the obvious explanation is that someone is underneath the table using a magnet and a lot of people say the same thing. However, here's another video showing that there is no magnet on the bottom of the toy, so no one knows for certain. This video has become quite popular in the Spanish YouTube community, but I wanted to shed some light on its origins. This clip is from the web series, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network, posted in January of 2012. The uploader wonders if her studio is haunted. In the video, she claims that she hasn't been down in the studio for a couple months because of what happened. What happened was that she heard someone speak while she was down there alone. She explains that her brother had been down there several times, and her brother went through every room but found nothing. Being as it seems the coast is clear, she wants to finish the video she'd previously been filming. But as she begins with the turning board, a dark figure, well half of a dark silhouette figure really, exits the room far behind her and can be seen passing into the next room. Seeing the thing reflected in the mirror in front of her, the girl sprints out of the room full stop, racing up the stairs and banging on the door. Many in the comments are calling the apparition scary and creepy. YouTuber Bree Naylor writes, Maybe it wasn't a good idea to watch this at 4.08 in the morning. It's bad enough I get scared just sitting in the living room, and then I watch this. I'm almost in tears. Are you watching at 4.08 in the morning too? Don't let this clip enter your dreams. But do check out the full Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network series. It's definitely worth the watch. Ian Ben's notorious poltergeist is at it again. Published in February of 2022, this short clip shows yet another paranormal experience in their haunted home. In the video, a small picture frame falls from a shelf onto the couch below. Then a cat toy is shoved above abruptly over. The action is caught on a security camera set up in the room. Upon finding stuff moved, Ben takes viewers through the room using a Kinect app. The figure of a person momentarily appears on the couch, right where the frame has fallen. First it appears sitting, then it looks like it's laying down. Is the demon right in front of him? And what will he do next? This scary moment taken by the McD3 in the Isle of Palms, South Carolina, shows how even a relaxing family vacation at the beach is never truly safe. Hey, get her, get her out. <laughs> The mother has her back turned and misses it, but the father sees a small shark fin and tells her to run away. I don't think the juvenile shark was actively going after them, but what's really scary when you think about it is how the deep sea creature has already gone past before it gets noticed. Had the shark been just a few feet closer to shore, it would have been directly in their path. And we all know that when sharks are surprised, they rely on their teeth to get out of the situation. It doesn't look like anyone else is in the water, but if there is a nearby lifeguard, then I hope they report the shark so they could get everyone to safety. These strange sounds in the sky have never been properly explained. I found no less than five different incidents of the exact same grinding and humming metal on metal noise. Sometimes it comes from far away, like this one from Germany. And sometimes it echoes throughout the whole city, like this one from France. And sometimes it sounds like it's breaking directly overhead, like this one from Edmonton, Canada. But out of all of them, this recording from an unknown Spanish-speaking country is the clearest. These people are from around the world and obviously can't all know each other, yet each video is recorded between 2015 and 2016. 
I don't know if this is a warning, an experiment, or what, but I'm worried that one day we will find out. It was May 17th, 1995. What San Diego was about to witness would be one for the record books. Sean Nelson thought he'd go for a joyride that day in an M60 tank. He broke into the National Guard Armory, rambled behind the wheel, and headed down Mesa College Drive into neighborhoods, crushing cars, busting open fire hydrants, and eventually leading police cruisers on a low-speed chase down Route 163. The crazy rampage lasted 23 minutes, all caught by TV news crews and police helicopters. The episode lasted until police subdued Nelson and he was lifted out of the tank. Although there are many questions to be asked about this event, the big question is why? Why did he do it? Nelson had enlisted in the army after high school and served in West Germany in a tank battalion. His service record includes disciplinary problems and led to his honorable discharge in 1980. When he got home, he had a nice enough life for half a decade, got married, bought a home, made a decent living as a plumber, but then his parents passed away within four years of each other and he couldn't cope with what happened. His wife filed for divorce. Five years later, his life was in shambles. He had no money. His tools had been taken. His girlfriend left him. His house was in foreclosure. This is when Nelson went off the deep end. Literally, he started digging a hole 17 feet deep in his backyard. He told his friends that there was gold down there. Nelson's breaking point made for a frightening reality on this day in 1995. Some things are urban myth. Then again, some myths and legends have some basis in reality. Published to YouTube in June of 2007 by Heather Stone, the video shows Crybaby Bridge on Burroughs Road in Livonia, Georgia. Apparently, there are several Crybaby Bridges in the state of Georgia. They're a thing of legend. This is one of those legends. Don't be fooled by the modern concrete bridge linking the county's two sides. The old iron bridge still stands alongside it, and that's where the haunting happens. The video shows a group of friends investigating the local legend. According to the video, the story goes that a new mother was riding home in a carriage with her newborn baby, and as they crossed the bridge, the horse became spooked. He jumped up, causing the carriage to tip over, and the occupants both lost their lives. From there, you might hear a baby cry, or haunting horse hooves on the road, or you might just see the woman in white searching for her baby over the bridge. When you come near her, she disappears. Will the group see any of this? You're about to find out. The group arrives on the bridge, exits the vehicle, and one of the girls screams the necessary words. What? Go for it. Yeah, ah. yeah sure, you can do it. Kill your baby, baby! <laughs> A moment later, you can hear the car doors lock. The car alarm then goes off and sounds as though it's going haywire. What's up with this? What? What? What's going on? What are you talking about? Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Oh, oh, you are oh kidding. God. Oh my gosh. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. They all clamber back into the vehicle, and as the driver is attempting to turn on the lights, you see the figure of a woman flash into view ahead on the bridge. Screaming ensues. Lots of it. Oh my god. Oh, turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Ah! Although there are plenty of naysayers in the comments, at least to attest to the validity of these girls' claims, Brandon Childs notes, I live over here by this. You get used to hearing screaming girls and sometimes guys in the middle of the night, but I do believe there is something about that bridge. Weird stuff, man. Weird is an understatement. A YouTuber named Exploring with Perks is checking out an old abandoned home with one of the creepiest basements he has ever seen. Possible remains rest outside of an old hole in the wall, with the rest of the body possible on the other side, and later on, he finds the remnants of what I hope is just a stuffed animal. Then he gets out fast. I can't say I blame him. 
A feisty octopus is heading out to sea when it sees it's been caught on camera and has had enough. The creature comes forward and even throws a swing. Getting chased underwater by this deep sea creature is creepy, but the backstory is what makes this video even creepier. Moments before this was caught on camera, Bohema TV says he was swimming in the ocean when he felt something wrap around his thigh. Only when he came back to shore did he realize this was a living creature attached to him and not seaweed like he had originally thought. Here you can see it try to blend in with the rocks for a bit before giving up and swimming away. Apparently, they have really sharp teeth and strong jaws, so luckily Bohema TV got away safely before getting chomped. This YouTube channel is just a random string of letters and numbers that may or may not spell out some sort of hidden message. There's one video that's especially strange. Someone is furiously pedaling around a neighbor while panting. apparently lost and possibly being pursued. The next video is of someone watching two other people from afar and from behind some shrubbery. I'm not sure if this video is real or not, because they would obviously be able to see this person from this angle in my opinion, but maybe they were just ignoring him or truly didn't notice. If the person filming here is the same person that was on the bike, then I think they may have serious problems. After not posting for over 7 years, the channel started uploading content again a month ago. Maybe now there will be more clues revealing the mystery behind these videos. A paranormal explorer from Turkey named Anzari is documenting a haunted tunnel that's too scary for him to get very far. <laughs> Behind him, an eerie red ring radiates with an evil force. He knows he has to get out quick or else he will succumb to its terrifying effects. But as he creeps near the entrance, the haunted tunnel takes a final swipe at him. <laughs> And Zari's had enough and decides to block off the tunnel to contain whatever evil is inside. But it seems as though whatever scary thing he's caught on tape has other plans. <laughs> It seems like the rock could have simply fallen over here, but it's very heavy and shouldn't tip over so easily. It's hard to say if it was pushed over by a ghost or simply off balance to begin with. So let me know if you think this video is paranormal or not. As for why only a small portion of the tunnel would be glowing red like that, I have no idea. When something goes bump in the night, you just better hope you're not working the night shift. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by MX Theor of Dogs, the Redditor writes, Friend works for a pharmacy as security. He was notified the alarm was going off at 2 a.m., which is triggered by internal sensors. He arrived and found nothing wrong, but reviewed the footage to find the cause and saw this. He said this was the security guard's first encounter with the paranormal, if it is in fact paranormal activity. The footage shows a shelving unit pressed up against a wall full of products and assumedly medicine. Watch the fourth shelf. Several items can be seen falling with force. One hits the ground and skids away out of sight. The other hits the ground and appears to break into six separate rectangular pieces. While well, most in the comments of this video are cracking pharmacy jokes, some are asking thoughtful questions about the history of the building, or whether or not something like this has happened in the past. Others who say their pharmacists or caregivers claim this strange stuff happens all the time in their line of work. Allison333, however, gets the last laugh, writing, I guess you can say they had a short shelf life. We see what you did there, Allison. When you experience regular poltergeist activity in your home, monitoring it becomes top priority. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard shares this VR360 video from a GoPro Max of his home's demonic activity. You can hear faint knocks or footsteps repeatedly.
More unexplained sounds unfold. Not long after, there's a major smashing noise, followed by REM pod activity. You can also hear faint voices at this point, maybe from a TV turning on. Not long after, this happens. And again, it sounds like the TV has been turned on or someone is speaking. The voice comes and goes throughout the remainder of the clip, but turning 360, you can't see anything on. And lastly, the spirits play a short tune. This video is particularly unsettling to me because you can see all four corners of the room at any time, so you know nobody is pulling the strings. I'm convinced that Donnie's house is haunted, and considering the noises, the demon doesn't sound friendly. This bizarre video was taken while exploring the woods of Amherst, Massachusetts, in a place that's known for witch sightings and strange ritualistic activity. Someone, perhaps a group, has carefully arranged branches into a makeshift hut. The leaves have mostly fallen off, but it's easy to see how this could have been some kind of shelter during the warmer months. Inside are hanging ornaments of twisted twigs bound together into strange symbols. These stones are all about the same size and have been laid at the base as part of a possible ritual. While further inspecting the hovel, they catch a strange figure running away from the hut into the woods at full speed, but they dare not pursue lest they want a hex placed on their head. This infrared video from 2008, taken by a ghost hunting squad in South Dakota called the SPCTR, details paranormal evidence at an abandoned house haunted by the spirit of a child. A mysterious figure peers around the corner at the end of the dark hallway. A ghost if you ask, the SPCTR team, but I'm not so sure. The figure doesn't seem very tall and has shoulder length hair. If you look closely at 18 seconds, so maybe this was a little ghost girl in the hallway after all. If this is fake, then one of the paranormal investigators is crouched down to make themselves look like a kid. Tell me if you think this paranormal evidence is legit, or if this was a made up sighting from the early days of YouTube. Houses can make funny house noises, but that doesn't seem to be the case with this video. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Ramasaurus, the Redditor explains that he woke up to loud footsteps in the hallway and the sound of something in the attic being dragged. He says the attic is not used for storage, but has a small crawl space. He was home alone when this happened. In the clip, you can faintly hear footsteps pounding and then the dragging noise as Ramasaurus lies still and silent. In the comments, Redditor Dejness suggests to go check it out, noting that people have had issues with squatters in the past. Even though the chances are slim, there's a definite possibility, as Dejness advises, look for any sign of someone's been living there, missing food, stuff misplaced, food wrappers, and if you do end up believing someone is in your house, maybe try installing a security camera. Some Redditors add that having something to protect themselves with nearby would be smart. Others advise to just record the sound and call the authorities instead of investigating himself, as who knows what the stranger would do. In another vein, some think it would be animals making nests up there. But the Redditor says the attic was completely sealed. The potential for the paranormal is on other Redditors' radar, including the OPs.
He states that a couple of his family members had paranormal experiences inside the home, although he doesn't elaborate on what those experiences were. Then again, maybe it's just someone who had no other place to go. A group of friends are exploring an abandoned house but they get no further than the front door before they get freaked out by a possible ghost sighting. According to the description, if you look closely at the right side of the window, you'll see a shadow figure looking at them. Take a look at what they've caught on tape and tell me if you see a shadow figure on the right. Oh, no, that's a shadow, that's a shadow, that's a shadow. Is that? <gasps> At first, I thought they were maybe talking about this shadowy figure down here, which is on the right like they say, but I'm pretty sure that's the shadow of the person holding the camera, and what could be a glowing eye is actually light from their camera too. Also, the person in a red shirt who sees the shadow figure is pointing in an entirely different direction. Like I said, I don't see anything paranormal in this video, but every single person in the comments says there is a shadow figure caught on camera if you look close enough. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean one isn't there. Somebody help me out because I want to know what they are looking at. When you do see it, apparently it's really scary. This bar ghost is one angry customer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Zazzy Malith. The redditor claims this clip is video proof that the restaurant she once worked at was haunted. The clip shows security footage shot from behind the bar of the restaurant. A close-up reveals a glass sliding of its own accord and then appearing as though it simply hops right off the counter, smashing onto the floor. Nothing and no one caused it to fall. Zazzy adds to the perplexity of this writing. The glass that fell was one of those wine glasses that are heavier on the bottom to prevent it from falling over, and was sitting on a non-slip rubber mat used commonly in bars. Just one more reason to call in sick. This paranormal investigation takes place in an abandoned building in Indonesia. I can't tell what is being said, but you don't need words to tell this person is being relentlessly stalked by something not of this world. First they play some kind of song which I think is meant to summon spirits. A short while later a shadow person peeks around the corner and appears where his thumb is. If somebody could please translate what is being said here, then maybe it could help us piece together what this video is all about. I don't think he noticed anything at first, but this is the exact moment he sees the spirit. Again, please translate if you can, and tell me if you think he sounds sincere or if he is acting. This is the bukan ya. <laughs> the way he turns and bolts without saying a word is very realistic, so I'm inclined to believe this is not a joke. And when he looks again, the ghost is up way high in the left corner. I think he is losing his mind at this point and he squats in the corner too high. He thinks he is safe, but the door opens and closes by itself and a strange mist floats up towards the knob. He runs away and stops to look around, panting, completely out of breath and scared senseless. This faint moan before the video ends makes me think he did not make it out alive. <sighs> Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.